Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kobuman and in this video I'm going to show you how to back up your personal files so that way you don't lose them. So let's say you bought a new hard drive and you want to put it in your new computer, but you know you want to make sure that you don't lose any of the data that you have. So your my documents, your favorites, your your bookmarks, anything, any files that you have on your desktop, your pictures, your videos, you know, we just want to make sure that you don't lose any of that. And I'll show you how to do that. And, and, and uh, get right into it right so the first thing we got to do is make sure that we look up our local profile so let's go ahead and go to our file explorer if you have Windows 7 for example or any other operating system um, you can just go to your the root of your C it might be from your my documents um, I'm sorry your uh, my computer or just it would say computer right here icon and then you would just get to that but we just need to get to the uh, local a local C drive so most of us already know what that is so here we are okay so the first thing uh, we got to make sure is of course you know you got a new computer right or, or I'm sorry you need a new uh, new hard drive and you want to put it in your new computer right you want to upgrade or whatever your reason is right first thing you got to make sure is that you don't lose any data and in order to do that you can simply copy and paste things like you know your videos your pictures or whatever you can do that that's that's fine too you can just plug in an external um, storage device and then you can just copy paste and, and everything's great but how do we copy over um, effectively or how do we make it easy for us so that way when we log back into our computer we have all of our favorites or, or all of our bookmarks all of our my documents in place and all of our icons all of our desktop icons placed just like we had it previously okay well I'll show you how to do that right so let's go ahead so we are in the root of C right and in the root of C and, and again this will apply to Windows 7 Windows XP uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10 of course so this is the first thing you will see all of these um, operating systems will have a folder called users okay so let's go ahead and click on users it's right here so it's a root of C users right so we just click on users and here's your login um, login profile so this is your local uh, local profile that is saved and this profile basically houses all your personal data anything from like I said your your bookmarks um, your my documents anything like that and let me just go ahead and open it up real quick so you have you know things like contacts desktop uh, your documents, um, anything that you have in your downloads, uh, favorites, links, music, everything else, right? And things like any app data, like any cached or configuration data, um, chances are will be inside of this local profile. This is what this is called a local profile, right? So we're just going to make sure that is fully backed up. And you can simply uh, do so by right clicking here, right? And just click copy, right? You can click copy and then go over to your computer um, to your file explorer or my my computer or whichever you have and then pick your external drive that you have connected right so right now as you can see I only have um, C drive connected and if you have external drive you know you would have it there then you would just go inside of it right and then you would just paste it in there right well that's fine and dandy that's fine you can do that right but we don't necessarily want to copy over everything that's inside of this local profile and the reason I say that is because it can cause corruptions corruption um, in, in data it can cause um, let's say a conflict that's the easier way to des describe a conflict of data on your new computer and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so if you go to your local profile right now right here and if you just double click it you open it up and you see all the stuff that you normally see right and that's great but there is a hidden fall folder um, that's inside of here that you can't see um, that's called app data so if we just click in here and do a backslash and type in app data this is where you will have okay and this is within as you can see here within a folder within your local profile right in my case Cobalt so there is a um, it may be hidden for you maybe not in this case it was hidden but it's called app data and if you go to through these folders if I click on local you can see that it houses data for different programs like in this case we have for example Microsoft Edge which is the new um, web browser that comes with Windows 10 right uh, things like that you could have like a let's say I don't know a game and you, you would see a name a folder of, with a game name and inside of it you would have different type of settings where all of these folders contain app data okay so if you go in here you can see that all these uh, folders contain things like credentials 
um, anything that's cached. But the thing is though, if you keep this stuff and try to copy it over your new your new uh, local profile that's created on your new hard drive, it can cause corruptions, right? And also in roaming here, you will see um, also stuff like that. Like here's a good example actually, Adobe, right? If you copy all this over, you know, this is has this is a flash player. Um, if you copy this over, chances are you may have some issues with video playback on on any on websites that use flash player, right? Same thing with any other application that's um, that's within this. So what we want to do, and like I said previously, you could simply go here, you know, right click, copy, make a backup of it, and once you install your new hard drive and you have inside an operating system, you go back here and just paste, right? you paste and it's going to ask you to um, basically merge all those folders and and everything that's inside of it but you don't want to do that like I said um, it will copy over that app data folder which has cache data from your previous uh, from your previous computer if you will because it was a previous hard drive it was a different configuration and it can cause corruption I'm, I'm hoping I'm coming off um, as, as, as clear as possible in this just to kind of uh, you know it, it's kind of hard to explain but that's what uh, happens you know trust me I come across this a lot and it, at, at work right and it's a really a bad idea to actually copy the whole thing but what can we do right there are things there are folders you can freely copy over in and simply um, you can do so simply by um, making a folder okay let me just go this here let's pretend this is our this is our folder we're just gonna create a new folder here within a root of C we're just gonna call it backup Okay, and you would do this in in the, in the drive that you're trying to back it up to. So if you have a another drive that's called, let's say this is the backup drive, we'd go inside of this and create a folder called backup. Okay, okay. So in, in, in right now it's empty, right? But we're gonna back up things that we want to keep, but not all the app data that's inside of this folder inside of a Koboman local profile. You know? Okay. So let's go ahead inside of here, and we can simply here just select things that we want to keep so majority of time what I like to keep is anything that's inside a desktop so anything any icons that's on the desktop anything that's in in my documents and favorites right I do not like I don't like to copy over downloads there's just not it's just not necessary any of this other stuff you know but if you have music you would copy that over pictures and all that so let's go ahead and select all these okay so you would hold control on your um, on your, on your keyboard right you would hold control in order to select these folders select desktop select documents favorites uh, let's say music and pictures right so let's go ahead and just copy this or let's select videos as well oops it got deselected hold on let's do it again desktop documents not downloads we don't want downloads favorites music uh, pictures and videos right so it's gonna copy we're gonna copy over these folders right just these are the ones we want you know we're gonna make sure we don't copy over that app data folder right okay so copy and let's go back to our drive here's our backup folder and we're just gonna paste that over right so this is this has copied over right so once you have this so you have this backup on your let's say on your time drive you know I mean depending on how big how big your local profile is but you can copy it over a thumb drive right if it's not too big if it's you know whatever you may have external hard drive as far as I know you know either way is fine but once you log back in so let's say that we're, we have installed our new hard drive right new hard drive is in we installed our operating system we're gonna go back in here um, go to our local C uh, local C uh, drive go to users and here's our you know here's our um, a local profile that that created again right and we're gonna go inside of it so we're gonna have that open and then we're gonna go back to our backup uh, backup drive so let's pretend in our case backup is C again so here's our backup folder okay so bottom here is our backup external backup and here's our folders we're just gonna copy and paste right simple as that and it's gonna ask uh, whether we want to you know basically merge these right so we can just go ahead and click replace the files 
in the destination but this is not gonna come up to you because it already has you know the, the same files but if you do get it you can just click replace the files in destination it's gonna copy it over and now everything is merged you know you may get a pop-up asking do you want to merge this and that but you know you can just follow the prompts so that basically backs it up I mean once you do that it, all the basically icons are just gonna suddenly appear right because if you have a new hard drive and you install a new operating system it's gonna be just like this you're not gonna have any created icons like this you know you're not gonna have you know you know like that you're not gonna have images you're not gonna have any you know text documents like that you know but let me just show you how that actually does work let's go copy here let's just do a cut let's cut this and put it in our backup right and I'm just gonna show you what happens exactly <clears throat> excuse me and let's go to our backup here's our backup and let's put it in our desktop right here's our desktop folder now it's in our desktop folder and this is our backup and this is the backup of our desktop right so and I, the reason I did a cut so that way it disappears so the way you can see that it does come back go back to the <clears throat> uh, local C drive here's your local profile the new local profile that you created and now we have we have the selected copy on our backup of desktop so now when I paste there it is it just kind of shoves them in there right you see how that happened real quick simple as that okay so there you have it guys this is a simple and and the best way to back up your local profile so that way you don't see any app data uh, you know and, and by the way that app data folders can be huge they can be huge they can be gigabytes and gigabytes worth of just cache data and, and trust me you don't want that this just causes issues and you want to start afresh and you just want to keep stuff that's important to you right who cares about that app data that's just junk data most of the time anyways right okay guys thank you very much for watching this video if you like please leave a comment click a like if you do if you don't like it click a dislike you know that's fine too um, if you have any suggestions uh, or questions feel free to leave them below and I appreciate you guys very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.